Hi there, my name is Emma Farrell and welcome to my website. For those of you who might need reminding, I will be giving you a quick plot run through of Wolfram von Eschenbach's Middle High German epic, Parts of All, according to each of the 16 books into which the original manuscript has been divided. So without further ado, book one. After the prologue, we get a sort of second prologue as we hear about the youthful adventures of Parts of All's father, Gamma Ray. As a young and brave knight, he travels to an African kingdom, falls in love with a black queen named Belacana, marries her, impregnates her, and then runs back to Europe in search of more knightly adventure. Belacana then gives birth to a mixed race son called Firefees. Book two. Gamma Ray visits his son Caelet and they travel together to Spain for a tournament. Gamma Ray emerges victorious from a pre-tournament and wins the hand of white queen Herzeloida. He marries her on the condition that he is allowed to compete in one tournament a month. However, he is soon killed in combat. Herzeloida gives birth, birth to a son named Parzival, promising herself to keep all knowledge of chivalry from her son so that she doesn't lose him like she lost her husband. Book 3. Parzival is raised in the forest, away from the courtly world. One day, he stumbles across three knights and mistakes one of them for God, asking to follow them. Reluctantly, Herzeloid dresses her son in fool's clothing so that he will be rejected from Arthur's court and return to her. On the way, he meets his cousin, Saguna. At Arthur's court, he hears of the problematic Red Knight and kills him, which proves to me the mistake. He rides away and meets a man named Gernemans, who gives him a few lessons in religion and knighthood, which Partsful excels in, and tells him to not ask too many questions. Gernemans offers his daughter as a wife for Partsful, and Partsville promises to return if he is ever worthy of her hand. Book four. Partsville arrives in the city of Pelrapira, where he meets the astonishingly beautiful Conduira Mors, who is being besieged by a man whose proposal she has rejected. Partsville defeats him, winning Conduira Mors' hand and becomes king. After 15 months, he asks his queen for leave to check in on his mother and also seek adventure. Book five. Partsville arrives at a lake and meets a fisherman, who invites him to stay at a nearby castle, curiously implying that he is the host. He is welcomed by the fisherman, who is named Amphortus, and his sister, Queen Rapance de Choy. There are a number of mysterious things happening at the castle. Amphortus is severely injured. A stone, the grail, is carried in and magically conjures up food and drink. However, Partsville does not ask any questions, remembering Gernemans' advice. The next day, the castle is empty and Partsville departs. He runs into Saguna, his cousin, who briefly explains that the castle can only be chanced upon, not found intentionally, and that he should have asked the question without explaining what exactly that is. Book 6. Partsville stumbles upon, upon King Arthur's camp, where he is made a knight for his chivalric deeds. However, a sorceress named Kundry then arrives and denounces Partsville in front of the entire court for his inappropriate behaviour at the Grail Castle. His half-brother Farafis is mentioned for the first time. It is then revealed that Partsville should have asked about Amphortus's wound, for then he would have been absolved of his suffering. Partsville foolishly, foolishly blames God for his mistake and renounces him, leaving the court to seek the Grail Castle. At the same time, a knight named King Grimozel rides up and challenges Arthur's other knight, Gavan, for killing his kinsman. Gavan agrees to fight the knight before the king of Ascalon and leaves the court. Book 7 and 8 are dedicated to Gavan's adventures. To sum them up briefly, Gavan resolves a fight between a quarrelling couple, gets himself into his own trouble with a lustful maiden, and then absolves himself by agreeing to go on a quest for the grail. Book nine marks the story's return to Partsville. Four and a half years have passed since he left his wife and he is very bitter about being abandoned by God. On Good Friday, he comes across the holy hermit, Trevor it sends, who is also the brother of the wounded Grail King, Amphortus. After 15 days, uh, Partsville has now been taught the true ways of God and the history of the Grail. He has also learned that his mother, Herzeloida, who is also one of the Grail children, has died from grief after his hasty departure. After atoning for his sins, Partsful leaves. Books 10 to 14 return once more to Garvan's adventures. He meets a warrior-like maiden named Orga Luza, with whom he becomes completely besotted. He comes across the magical castle of wonders, where, amongst other maidens, he frees four noblewomen very closely related to King Arthur. 
They all return to King Arthur's court, while Partsfall also returns to the story. Garvan's conflict is resolved and multiple marriages take place. Thinking of his wife, Convira Moors, Partsfall cannot truly be happy and leaves at dawn. Book 15. Partsfall encounters a rich heathen and fights him, not realising that his opponent is actually his half-brother, Farafees. Partsfall's sword breaks before he delivers the final blow, stopping the fight and giving them the opportunity to talk. They identify each other and have a touching reunion. Together they return to Arthur's court, where Farafees is admired for his curious black and white skin and jewelled armour. Kundry the sorceress rides up once more, proclaiming that Partsfall is now worthy to be king of the Grail and blesses him. She tells him that since his departure, his wife, Conviramors, has since given him twin sons. Partsville leaves the Grail Castle, this time taking Firefeet as a companion. Book 16. Guided by Kundry the Sorceress, Partsville arrives at the Grail Castle. He asks, Uncle, what is troubling you? Which heals Amphortus and cements Partsville's status as the new Grail King. Conviramors and the twins are led to the Grail Castle by a nobleman, where Partsville reun reunites with them. His son, Cardiz, is named his heir. Farafees falls in love with the radiantly white Rapunzel de Choy and gets baptised in order to marry her. The two depart for the east to spread the word of Christianity and Rapunzel gives birth to a son, the future legendary Prester John. The story of Partsville's other son, Lohorangrin, is briefly told. He is brought to the Princess of Brabant on a swan and marries her on the condition that she never asks him his name. They have children together, but the princess, out of love, breaks her promise. He reluctantly returns to the Grail. So there you have it, a brief summary of parts of all. I hope this helps your understanding of the more in-depth character analyses on the website. And thank you for listening.